Hi folks, in this video I want to introduce you to the amazing work of Sebastian Pott. Um, many folk outside of Zimbabwe will already be familiar with his name. He worked with Chartwell Dutiro, uh, and I, th I think I can say that he was Chartwell's preferred and beer maker. Um, there was a recording from Chartwell's village that um, was kind of found um, years after it was taken. Uh, I think it was from Chartwell's uh, childhood, maybe before, I'm not sure. But um, he gave that to Sebastian and Sebastian kind of like reinvigorated uh, or brought back to life this tuning called Village Tuning uh, or popularly called Village Tuning. And I remember visiting Chartwell and Sebastian was around at his house as well and there were dozens of these instruments in this tuning. Um, Char uh, sorry, Sebastian has travelled to Zimbabwe and met and worked with a number of Mbira makers and it's th this craft is his passion. So I, I have more instruments of his, but not with me right now. It's, it's locked down during the coronavirus pandemic and I don't have access to, to all of my instruments right now. So this is the only one of Sebastian's that I'm able to show, but I think if, you, if you're paying attention to what I'm holding here, you can see it's exceptional. Um, the, the craftsmanship across all of his instruments is beautiful and um, I can't recommend them highly enough. He um, can listen and play an instrument and hear overtones in the keys uh, and notice the thicknesses of the keys, the styles of the keys and craft you something very specific and um, accurately and I if if there was somebody that I had to like send an instrument to to get a key fixed in fact I did that last month with Sebastian um, or have an instrument um, made in the style of another one he's the guy that I would ask he he's pays such great attention to detail so this instrument this village tuning is a Mavembe or Gandanga and that means that from these notes um, if we move between them we get that sense of returning home um, I'm gonna play just a, a little bit and and you can hear the, the instrument it's a shame I haven't got more of his instruments with me if in the future, um, I get round to it, I might remake this video and show uh, a few of his instruments at the same time so you can see that he's not like a, a one-trick pony. He can, he can do, do all sorts for you. So uh, let's go for a little bit of chip and berry. Oops, sorry. Um, so he can uh, make amazing instruments and, and it's, it's what he's doing non-stop for us guys. It's a real blessing to have him in our community and I, um, I, I can't rate him highly enough. So yeah, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then check out the video description below and you'll get a link there to... A page where I'm introducing loads of different um, beer makers and also there's videos there where I'm talking about sort of what you should look out or what you could look out for on different instruments when you're making your choices for your first, second, third or however many instruments you want to collect. I mean it's a it's endless territory. So thanks very much uh, Sebastian, amazing work. Um, I'm really proud to be like recommending you here and um, good luck everybody 
on your Embira journey. Stay in touch, check out my other videos. I'm sure I've got something for you, um, either if that's in my free downloadable multimedia e-guide that um, I put together with top Embira musicians from around the world, or any books, or if you are so into Embira that you um, want constant inspiration um, and access to hundreds and hundreds of hours of top musicians performing uh, their own style, improvisation, and basic parts as well, uh, all with notation and uh, my own style of analysis, then ambira.online, I'm, I'm sharing that stuff there and, and loving it. Yeah, super. Enjoy, everybody. Thank you. Uh, well done again, Sebastian. Amazing work.